<laughs> Is there a way for you to quickly be able to give me permission to share audio? For How some the heck frequency? do I do that? Oh, uh, <laughs> maybe it's not meant to be. Um, no, usually let's if you do go... it. Okay. Okay. I'm trying to think. Usually share screen will... I can't do anything on it because it's disabled. So if you click share screen, maybe you can enable it. And okay. in the meantime, it's okay if it doesn't work. But um, I just wanted to share with you all, the Lord brought me into breath work that is a little bit different than what we're going to do today. But this is the first thing he taught me about breath. After engaging in his name, engaging in yod hey vav hey, the breath in his name, he taught me this, this breath work that we're going to do today to engage the glorified DNA of Yeshua for the sake of stewarding life and immortality in a practical and tangible way. So I took Charles' course on immortality, and it radically changed my prayer life. And as I was seeking the Lord for a way to entangle with this and to steward it, he gave me this type of breathing. So we're just going to go through the layers of our bodies, the layers of where we're seated in heavenly places in Christ, and we're going to let go of anything that has an alignment with death and decay, any corrupted thing, and we're going to align with the incorruptible seed of the glorified DNA of Yeshua. And so we're going to go through this process. And I want you to just engage the breath how you feel led. Um, I will guide you a little bit, but I don't, want to, I don't want to speak too much and get too much in the way of what Holy Spirit wants to do. But I would recommend if you haven't taken his life and immortality course, and this is something you want to learn about, it's incredible. Go in, do your due diligence because we're entangling with the letters. We're entangling with the seven spirits of Yahweh. All of these things. It's just absolutely beautiful and brilliant and very grounded teaching. So thank you, Charles. Let's see if this works now. Oh, yay. Okay. So we're just going to start how we always do. We're going to just breathe and we're going to go into communion with Jesus because he is everything. He is the gate. He is the door. He is the way, the truth, the life. He's our beloved. He's everything. So whenever you feel comfortable and you're ready, you can just close your eyes and just begin to breathe. Begin to entangle your spirit with the breath of Yahweh, the co-creative, limitless DNA that rides in his breath. Receive a breath and then give back a breath. And we can start just breathing in the nose and exhaling through the mouth. Just like the waves of the ocean just filling yourself with the breath of Yahweh. You can even pause at the top and then release that breath back to him. Just coming into awareness of your body. Awareness of your mind, your emotions, your thoughts, and an awareness of your spirit. Breathe in deeply and pause at the top, just feeling that entanglement between all three parts the body the soul and the spirit. And we're going to begin to activate our imagination. So as we've been breathing in and out like the waves of the ocean, I want you to see yourself standing on the edge of a shore. 
breathing really slowly, almost as if there's a feather right under your nose and you're trying not to wiggle it. Really begin to let your imagination entangle with the setting. Feeling your feet in the sand. Feeling the wind on your skin. The ruach on your skin. And within, as you breathe in again, really deep and slow. And now let your eyes look out onto the horizon of the ocean. And I want you to see a figure walking towards you. It's your beloved. And Jesus wants you to meet him out there on the ocean, on the mem. So really begin to engage your sanctified, holy imagination and see what it feels like to set your foot on the surface of the water. Notice your breathing. Just walk out to meet him. Really engage with what it feels like to walk upon the waters. He's coming towards you. And as you meet, just begin to feel the activation of the DNA of his breath coming into your breath. Deep and slow breaths. Entangling your gaze in his eyes. Any emotions for you to just be seated on the waters and just take communion with him. Really engage yourself in the smell, the taste, the texture of the elements. Continuing to breathe. And as you're entangling with the DNA of Yeshua in his breath, begin to feel your spirit merging with his spirit. However that looks to you.
and the waters below begin to swirl and the waters in the atmosphere above begin to swirl Keep breathing in deep. All in and out the nose, really slowly. Continue to merge with the spirit of Yeshua. Entangling and enmeshing through the breath. And even as we ascend today, we're gonna keep a small part of our awareness in our physical body. We're gonna practice the heaven and earth. So as you breathe, we're gonna engage in the name Yahweh. So we're gonna take a deep breath in and begin to see the Yod coming down in this swirling waters above. And if you want on the exhale out, you can add your sound vibration to this letter of the name of Yahweh. Yod. Breathing in really deep and slow and see the letter Hey coming down this pathway, this spiral of water, the spiral of the Mem. On the exhale, Hey. You can sing, you can whisper, you can use your imagination. Seeing the yod and the hay swirling around you, one with Yeshua, merging the waters above and the waters below. Breathing in and begin to see the vav coming down. Exhale, fa. Breathe in, and the final hay comes down to join the swirl. Hey. Just see yourself surrounded in the name. Breathe in. Yod, Yod. Breathe in. Hey, Hey. 
surrounded in the name, entangled in the name. As you see the letters swirling around you, and if you don't know these letters, it's okay. Just use your imagination and feel yourself going up, up, up. Breathe in, up, breathe in, up, up. When you get full, hold it at the top. Feel the name around you, feel the name within you, arcing with your DNA already. Engaging in the spirit. Anchored in your body. And exhale. <sighs> Just notice what you see up here. You may already be feeling the elevated emotions of Yeshua. Sometimes you can feel it tangibly almost like your skin begins to sparkle. Breathe in again really slowly one more time, going up, up, up. And hold your breath at the top, holding the Ruach, the spirit of life within the breath. You can exhale when you're ready. And on this next breath in, I want you to see the man that Yahweh sculpted, the first man. And as you breathe in that same DNA, I want you to feel these places within your physical body, within your soul, within your heart, within your spirit becoming unlocked and lit up with the DNA of Yahweh, our Father. Breathe in. Feeling the living stones coming alive within you. Feeling the animation that Adam would have felt. Unlocking your DNA. Unlocking intelligence, divine wisdom, passion, the capacity to love and be loved. Creativity. divine health, life and immortality, knowledge and understanding, power, a limitless mind. Really feeling it. What else can you feel? Mm -hmm. 
feeling the activation in your waters, your physical waters, and the rivers of living water that flow from your innermost being. See those waters entangling, mingling the heavenly realities and technologies with the physical substance that you're made of. Now from here, we're gonna to begin to entangle with some of the layers in which we're seated in Christ, in heavenly places. Beginning with our physical bodies. So just continue to breathe really deeply, nice and slow surrounded and flooded by the holy breath of Yahweh. And bring part of your awareness into your physical body. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Down to the DNA. And as you're holding your body in this place of unconditional love, we're gonna let go of anything that is corruptible. We're gonna let go of decay. We're gonna let go of aging. We're gonna let go of pain. Any densities or blockages, anything that doesn't feel good in your physical body. Anything less than the glorified physical body of Yeshua HaMashiach. So breathe in and just see where your body can release. Breathe in full and deep and hold it at the top allowing the life within the breath to clear out any bit of decay. And then exhale. <sighs> we release it, we surrender what he paid for. And now breathe in. And we entangle our physical body with the physical DNA of Yeshua. Just begin to see that however you feel led. Follow the Lord. If your body needs to release something, you can be free to move or do whatever it is you feel led to do to release. We thank you for our physical bodies. We bless them and we align with the blood of Jesus over every cell, every molecule, every organ, every function, every system, every hormone, every record of wrongs that has been trapped 
in these physical bodies we now release in the name of Jesus. And we thank you for the incorruptible seed of life. Life. The substance of the spirit that raised Christ from the dead. Giving life to your mortal body. Life and immortality. On this next full inhale, allow yourself to experience a hug from your spirit around your body. Sealing this cellularly. And now see yourself expand to the next layer. The layer of your mind and your emotions and your will. Breathe in and allow the spirit of life within the breath, the Holy Spirit, to breathe through the doors and the windows in your soul. to illuminate anywhere that there may be cobwebs, anywhere there may be dust swept under the rugs, anywhere in your mind, in your thought life, in your will, your decisions, what you hunger for, in your emotions, anywhere that it's less, less than his design. We allow the spirit of life to breathe through and sweep through those places. And on your next exhale, just release anything less than fullness of limitless redeemed design. We let it go. Breathe in and we entangle with the emotions and the will and the mind of our glorified Savior. How does he feel about you? What does he say about you? Breathe in and we take off the incorruptible. We align our emotions and our mind and our will with the blood of Jesus. And we put on the incorruptible seed of your emotions, Yeshua, your will and your limitless mind. Now this next breath, bring it from the physical body into the soul and 
and feel your spirit hug and seal these places in him. On your next inhale, take it really slow and feel yourself expand another layer, becoming aware of your memories. Some of the rooms in the house that you are. Just breathing in and allow the spirit of life the DNA of the breath of Yahweh to blow through those rooms. Maybe there's a door that's closed and it's time to turn that handle and open it and allow him to come in. Bring his life-giving breath to your memories. And if there's anything coming up, Just release how you feel led to release. We are learning how to love without keeping record of wrongs in our body. Even when we've forgiven in our heart and our mind, we've let go of something, sometimes many times. Our body can still hold that record So it's okay to allow your body to feel the breath of life, stirring up any stagnant air. Any memory that has kept you aligned in loss or fear or decay or rejection or grief or anything less than life and life abundant Allow him to stir that place up with his breath. And as you exhale, release, (sighs) release that memory. It may be multiple things coming up. Breathe in again, his life-giving spirit. And release those cobwebs. <sighs> and now on this next inhale, begin to align with the memories of Yeshua over your life. What does he see when he looks at that moment? What does he see through the eyes of the cross? Begin to entangle with his glorified perspective as high priest and king. And as we let this next breath go, We breathe in and receive the glorified memories of Yeshua. We take your perspective, Jesus, over every part of our lives. We take your perspective. And we align with your blood and the life that's within the blood. Just see the blood of Jesus covering any place that's been opened and swept clean. See the blood of Jesus encasing this memory with his pure, innocent, higher and wiser perspective.
We thank you, Jesus, that you rewrite our history from the cross. If one died for all, then all died in one. And if one rose again, we were co-raised with him. In newness of life, that even our memories would align with abundant, limitless, redeemed design. Feel your spirit entangled with Jesus come around that memory body and give you a hug, the seal of his love, his comfort, his covering. And on your next inhale, I want you to focus the breath right into your heart. Your heart entangled with the heart of Jesus. Just begin to feel your heart enlarging. Any walls or boxes not strong enough to stand. Breathe in deeply and feel your heart space growing in entanglement with Jesus. Breathing in through the physical layer, through the emotional layer, the soul, through the memories, into the heart, where two become one. And there's a fragrance here where the fragrance of your heart mingles with the fragrance of his heart. So just begin to engage with that fragrance. Letting the eyes of the heart open even wider to him. The ears of your heart unlock even deeper to him. And the fragrance of your heart mingled with his filling the room. Like a heavy blanket. We allow the breath of Yahweh to sweep through the doors of our heart and let go of decay, let go of delay, let go of hope deferred, 
let go of sorrow, let go of fear. and be completely saturated in the blood of Jesus. We put on life. We put on the incorruptible heart from the inside out. We put on immortality as the state of our heart. Really feel your heart growing to encompass all of the other layers we've been through already. your heart entangled with his heart, coming around your memories, coming around your soul, coming around your physical body and giving you a big squeeze to seal in his life, abundant life. On your next inhale, just feel yourself expand yet again, coming fully into the spirit, stretching out. beyond the room that you're in. Beyond the city that you're in. Breathe in and expand even beyond your nation. your spirit entangled in the spirit of Jesus, even to encompass the whole earth. If we are his, then we are one spirit with him. And we entangle our spirit with the emotions of Yeshua HaMashiach. The ecstasy and the bliss of his ascended glorified DNA entangling with you from this expanded state right down to your very core. Breathe in and really feel it. You have permission to let go in his bliss. in his joy. His complete delight in all that he has made.
breathe in deeply. And hold it at the top. You're stretching into more of him. Life. Maybe you can see the stars twinkling around you. Maybe you're in another galaxy or realm altogether. Just continue to entangle with his ascended life. Allowing his spirit to come in and remove any less thans. We agree that we are seated in you in heavenly places. And we thank you for this ascended body, which we clothe with life and immortality. Let the corruptible fall away. Breathe in really deeply and expand one more time. Into your co-creative nature. Your Elohim status. You don't have to have language or pictures, just activate by faith. It says he knew us before he formed the foundations of the earth. Aligning with Yeshua as co-creator. Letting go of any delay or decay or death that has been attached to your idea of yourself as a co-creator, as an Elohim, We take it off now in the name of Jesus. And we align with your blood, Yeshua, as co-creator, original co-creator. The holy three co-creators. And we put life, the incorruptible and the immortal 
onto our co-creative nature. One with you, the three in one. Breathe in deeply one more time and hold it at the top. begin to see from Genesis 1-2 where the Ruach hovered over the waters. And allow the Lord to show you just one place in your life where it looks like chaos. It may be a relationship, it may be finances, it may be something in your body, maybe something in your mind, it may be career path just want you to see it almost as the earth unyet formed hovering with the three in one in the breath and brooding over this area of your life with them from this place allow the governance of Yahweh to fill you completely over this area of your life specifically fully feel the kingdom of God within. They are always with us, in us, around us, above us, below us, behind us, before us, always. And we're going to say, let there be light from the governance of Yahweh over this area of chaos. You can whisper it, you can just speak it, you can sing it, you can yell it, whatever you feel led to do. So just breathe in one more breath and we're gonna say, let there be light from this place of union with them. So breathe in. Let there be light. Do that again if you want to, just breathe in. Let there be light. Begin to see this situation flooded with light, illuminated from the Ruach and the governance of Yahweh in your life. Just see for a minute, observe this, watch what happens. Frame it up with him as a co-creator aligned with his bliss, aligned with his ecstasy, to see the fruit come forth in the natural, in the spirit, your heart continuing to grow over this, over this situation, your will, your mind, your emotions, your memories, your body empowering you to be the co-creator that you are. To 
Just begin to feel the joy of the Father. The joy of our beloved Jesus. The joy of the Holy Spirit. And let gratitude for their design for us begin to overwhelm you. This is who you are. This is what you're made for. This is the air we breathe. from this place in the Trinity in the breath in the waters seated in heavenly places in Christ just begin to come back into your body fully Whenever you're ready, you can open your eyes. And if anybody wants to share, you can go ahead. Just for those who want to share, um, you are on recording. So for those who don't want to share on the recording, then just hang back a bit. I'll put off the recording after the sharing and then you can share. But go for it. to share I'll go go for it my Sally hey I missed you my boot <laughs> quickly um, I'm not going to share the entire thing but I think the the front bit is probably for me the most significant is that as we breathe in with the your right valve high and as we release each letter I saw Yod coming down as fire, the hay coming down as like a wind breath, and then the Vav, that was probably the most intense missile I saw coming down into the earth, like a stainless steel missile just lodging itself into the earth. And then very gently, the the fiery crown of Yod came sat on my head and the breath cloaked around me and I, I saw myself there and I saw myself release the last hay and as I did that I sat on the throne room on the throne again and Jen as you mentioned about the the first person the first being the first there was a sand pit and it just my body rose out and I walked down and I it reached its hands out to me and I touched it. And it's like an electricity spark, like a like the all spark. I mean to move me so like the all spark of Transformers, that type of electricity shooting through my entire being and letting it up. It's like there you are. It's like jump starting a car. And then it started enveloping my whole arm and then eventually my whole being and I just knew I sat down again 
within this. But before that happened, sorry, I saw my own face, face to face. I was like, okay, this is this is mine. And I sat down and within that sitting down, I just sat down in an entire new universe, nucleus. Where from there, it was not as physical as I normally encountered, but it was different pathways just shooting out. And as we encountered what you were going through, different things in my everyday life came up, just, you know, attend to this, attend to this, 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 and it's just amazing how it's, it's like, yeah, multitasking. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm not going to go into the rest, but that was just very significant for me, and from there on, it just, <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. Thanks for that. That's so That's amazing. <sighs> wow. Yes, go Sue. <laughs> so when we uh, when we were seeing the Hebrew letters coming down and beginning to engage with them and the swirling of them, I felt that swirling physically in my body. <laughs> and as I went upwards, I was surrounded by pale pink and pale blue. All I can say is that it they had the substance of clouds, but they weren't clouds. Um, but they were raining gold. And the gold, the song that came to me was raindrops are falling on my head. Because the, the, the golden rain wasn't falling around me, it was falling into my head. And I felt it physically going into this molten gold going into my head and down into every vein and every artery and out into all the capillaries and out into all those spaces. And it feels like there is a deposit of gold in the waters of my cells now. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> wow. So I'm going to, I'm going to process that. That is amazing. Go for yeah, it, Susan. there's some. Oh yeah. You're on mute. Oh, sorry. I was I was just waving at Sue, going, "Yay, Yahoo, Amen." <laughs> but oh, uh, wow. Mm. It's still vibrating through me. Um, at one point, and I can't remember exactly, but you were talking about entangling and entwining. It's like I could just see these vibrations just going out, like into, I don't know how far, and just became this resident sound that was just being released. It was like, things just disappeared and then at other times I just felt like I was vibrating sound in the middle of just I don't know if it was a tuning fork or what but it's like my body disappeared became sound um and it reminded me years ago when the Lord just started showing me I think it was Peter walking down the street and he said, what's he doing? I said, just walking. He goes, what's he saying? And I said, well, it doesn't appear anything. Is he laying hands on anybody? And I said, no. And he said, he's become the message. And so when I had that experience of just being this, it was like sound waves just being released and vibrating out, I went, Oh my gosh, that reminds me of Peter walking down the street, just resonant, um, a resonant carrier. So, oh, Jen, you're just delightful, darling, way past words and hard to explain in experiences. But thank you, thank you, thank you for sharing this. Just adorable. I love you, dear. 
I love you too. <laughs> yeah. There's something about the breath hovering over the waters. That's, so, I feel like it's such a key for us as co-creators in his nature, that there's a vibrational hydrosonic activation that is tangible, but also in our living, innermost being living waters, you know, that stream from us, that the, the tangible waters and the heavenly waters. And it is, it is exactly what you're talking about, Sue. It's like, Susan, we just become, you know? Yeah. If you guys haven't taken Charles course, I highly recommend that immortality course because this is almost like the Lord had me start breathing that way as a tool to steward that, to steward that life and immortality. And it is beyond what our intellect understands. It's just allowing the resonance to happen like you're talking about. And it changes you. All right, uh, anybody else want to share before I put the recording off? Okay, Jane, thank you. That was an amazing ascension. <gasps> Love what you carry, the gates that you open, and the DNA in the spirit that you ascend. Just absolutely love it, and thank you for blessing this community. Amen. We thank honor you. you hugely. Thank you. And I love you guys so much and honor all of you. This is just the best family. <laughs> it's amazing. Yeah.